hello guys welcome to my channel in the last video we have uh, designed the user interface for notepad application and in this video we are going to do the actual coding part in this video we are going to start with file operations so if you are going to type along you can type along and uh, it will be a good learning experience for you try to type along and if you are just lazy you can just download this code in the link given below in this description so it's your choice it's your call you can do whatever you want just try to understand whatever I being taught here let's get started first i am going to create a new project that contains all the logic part so go to the solution and then add a new project so in this window go and select class library and name it as note notepad logic so let's name it as notepad core so yeah it's done and it will start with a single class rename this class as file operation so this class contains all the logic required for file operation that is uh, starting a new file or uh, saving a file whatever so it contains data members and member functions that deals with file operations that's just it so we can start writing the code in the main form itself so first thing is create a new object for file operation and include the reference here so we can use file operation object inside this class and then instantiate this file operation object we can uh, just modify the file operation first the file operation class should contain some uh, details regarding uh, what the file name is whether the file is saved or not so let's create some uh, variables for that so we can create private string file name and we can also have a boolean that uh, determines whether the file is saved or not is file saved for exposing this just uh, click control dot so it will uh, just uh, show some refactoring we can do with it i am just creating some uh, properties so we will be uh, using these properties outside the class it's a good practice to keep all this uh, members as private and then expose them as properties so while uh, first when uh, this is a new file is uh, initialized we have to call this function uh, we can have a function called initialize new file so basically what this function does is create a just assign a new file name that is when we are creating a new file name uh, it's it has to be untitled dot text as in a typical notepad you can use anything uh, this is the default file name uh, but uh, while uh, we are going to save it uh, we will be giving a new name for this but it's like a temporary name and we have to say the file uh, saved status as true for this now we can go to the main form and uh, here we can call this initialize function initialize new file so while we are opening this we will actually have some initial status for our file operation and only one thing to do in this function is we can in, uh, assign this text of this particular form to the file name so if you just start this oh, sorry so it's unwanted uh, using statements let's get rid of it and now we can start this yeah you will be having this untitled dot text here so we can go ahead and write this new opera file operation so here just click new file so it will automatically uh, just uh, add the event handler for this uh, click event and 
brings you here the, to this function here you have to write the logic for new file menu click menu item click so what we are going to do here this is what we are going to do if the file is already saved we are going to initialize new file status that is untitled.txt and uh, basically we are going to call this initialize new file function and then if the file is not saved we are going to ask the user for a file name and save the file so that's what we are going to do so let's get started to the coding part first if the file is saved initialize new file so if file operation dot is file saved initialize uh, new file status so that is basically giving uh, the title as untitled.txt and uh, setting uh, all those uh, other parameters in file operation else go here so let's complete this first so initializing a new file we can just call out, call out the function initialize new file of and then we can uh, empty this text area text area is nothing but the rich text box actually if it contains some content and uh, the file is saved there is nothing we need to do further so we can go ahead and remove this content as the file is already saved and uh, for now let's have a function uh, update view basically it will update uh, all the ui elements uh, every once in a while so let's create this method inside so it's created so i am not going to do much here for now this function is going to edit the text property here so this dot text is equal to so how we are going to edit this if the file is saved already so if the file is not saved we have to add a star so so basically this is to show unsaved status to the user and it will edit the file name and add a, it, it won't edit the file name, it will edit the text and add a star and the st if the star is present that means the file is not saved so it's for how uh, typically user finds out the file needs to be saved otherwise if the file operation is file this status is true it means the file is saved we can just queue the file name itself so this function will do this for now we will update everything later so the next thing is how do we know we have something to save basically if we change anything if we add some text to this rich text box it means that something needs to be saved so let's go to the rich text box and right click and uh, select the properties we can just click here and you will have text change property just double click this it will automatically create an event handler and give straightly take you to this function you can write anything here so when some text change event happens in the text area you need to basically change this is saved file status to false so whenever there is a change it means that something needs to be saved and the status is set as false this way we can uh, able to see that we have some actually something to save and uh, we need to change this title basically we need to call this update view so that it will uh, include the star in the title update view so that's cool so we have completed uh, what should happen if the file is already saved and we have to get, uh, get to the part where we have to write code for handling what if the file is not saved so first ask, ask the user do you need to save the file so message box dot show off do you need to change save the changes save changes to give the file name and then have notepad as title and you can actually give some message box buttons in this case i will be giving yes no cancel and we can give message box icon in this case i will be giving it as question as it is a question so we are asking the user do you need to save the changes to the file and we are going to save the result in dialog 
dialog result and i give this very plus result so you are going to ask the user do you need to save the file if he chooses yes no or cancel it will be saved in this result now we can use this result variable and write the code logic so we are going to write the result as if the user said the yes do this otherwise if the user said no to this so if the user clicked cancel don't do anything so we can basically leave the pop from writing logic so we have uh, basically come to handle every case now so if the user clicked yes we need to check if the file name is to be saved for the first time or it is already saved that is if if the file name is to be saved for the first time it will be having the file name as untitled.test and otherwise it will be having some valid name so let's check if the file name has a part untitled so file operation dot file name dot contains untitled so if it contains untitled do this so basically we are going to bring up a save dialog box here save file dialog new file save is equal to new save dialog file dialog so you can actually add some filter here we are not going to add anything except text so basically this is the format for specifying text star dot txt we can save text file and text file alone so we are going to show this dialog to the user new file dot show dialog so now the dialog is shown to the user and if the user clicked ok we can save this file so file operation dot save file so this is the method i haven't been declared yet so this method will take uh, two operators file operation dot actually uh, this is a so this will take two operands 